What is good people, welcome back to another episode of Drive Time Crypto with me, Crypto Chris. And coming up on today's episode, we are talking about how Binance has suspended all Luna and UST trading. But just before we start the episode, I'd like to show you that I'm on my journey to 150 subscribers as we speak. So if you could please subscribe to my channel and show some support, that would be really appreciated. Moving on now. As this it says, Binance removes Luna futures, margin pairs, and spot trading pairs. The force of the bear market has hit some projects worse than others, but no coin has gone through more pain than Luna, the governance, time be uh, governance token behind the Terra ecosystem. And it says here, breaking Binance suspends Luna and UST trading amid issues on Terra blockchain. Binance has suspended Luna BS, uh, BUSD and UST BUSD on its spot trading platform following the halt of the Terra blockchain. So if you weren't aware, the blockchain has uh, halted producing blocks at the moment to prevent it from a governance attack and... Because of this, they have now suspended all trading on Binance. Um, so as it reads here, global currency exchange Binance has suspended trading pairs with Terra ecosystem cryptocurrencies Luna and Terra USD on its platform following the major crash of the algorithmic stablecoin. Bitcoin confirmed the move on Monday the 13th with spot trading for, uh, trading for Luna and BUSD and UST BUSD trading pairs being suspended. It's not clear when the withdrawals for Luna or UST will continue as the cryptocurrency exchange simply stated that it will wait for the issue with the Terra network to be solved. Now moving on from that just now CZ who is the CEO of Binance um, has come on to Twitter to explain what is going on and I don't think they're going to resume it anytime soon so at Binance we prioritize user protection we made the decision to suspend Luna and UST trading and here's why he says on Twitter as an exponent Exponential amount of new Luna were minted due to the flaws in the design on the Terra protocol. Their validators have suspended their entire network, resulting in no deposits or withdrawals possible to or from any exchange. Some of our users are unaware of the large amounts of newly minted Luna outside the exchanges, started to buy Luna again, without understanding that as soon as deposits are allowed, the price will likely crash further due to these significant risks. We are suspended trading. So basically what he's trying to explain there is that there is people that are unaware of what the breach in the protocol was, how it was being exploited, what that resulted in. And because of that, they feel like they've now had to suspend this trading to protect these people that may not understand what is actually going on and see it as a possible investment opportunity with prices so low, not realising they could crash further. While Binance always aims to be neutral, he explains, helpful and protective of all users and industry peers, and we typically refrain from commenting on other projects. I will break this rule this time. So basically, he normally doesn't say anything about anything when it's going on. He doesn't um, justify his actions or throw shade on any projects, but this time it is different. I am very disappointed with how this UST Luna incident was handled or not handled by the Terra team. We requested their team to restore the network, burn the extra minted Luna and recover the UST peg. So far, we have not gotten any positive response or much response at all. That is pretty damning. It's clear that they are not happy with the Terra team, which... For such a big organisation, you can understand why he never normally throws this kind of shade. Um, but nevertheless, he, he then goes on to, to refer to a different project. This is in sharp contrast to Axie Infinity, where the team took accountability, had planned and were communicating with us to protect it proactively and we helped. So basically, when there was an exploit on the Axie Infinity protocol, they worked with Binance and Binance worked with them to help solve this out, whereas... Um, Terra seem to have just buried their head in the sand and Binance aren't happy and have subsequently shut everything off. We know that there are different opinions in the community. We felt suspended trading is the best way to protect our users at this time. We will continue to monitor the situation closely 24-7. All actions will be announced on Binance. And that was CZ. So yeah, he's taken to Twitter to explain why they've stopped it, but he's also expressed his 
concern and disappointment that the Terra team have been very silent and not very proactive, which only goes to condemn the whole situation more. It really is starting to turn ugly and it's not good for Terra, it's not good for crypto and it's certainly not good for the people that were invested in them that have seen major losses and was maybe potentially hoping for a rally through the recent news of a potential investment from a hedge fund. This only goes to, to well, capitulate the pain even more. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to wrap this video up here now. Nice, short and sweet. And yeah, if you like this, please, please subscribe to my channel and I will try and keep bringing this up to date, breaking content as it happens. Thanks very much, guys. See you on the next one.